Nat Fife uh, joins us. I'm sorry the audio were uh, cut out, Nat, but I'm not going to go back and say exactly what sort of player you <laughs> were, but uh, rest assured it was a pretty good intro. Welcome. Thanks, guys. I could hear you fine, so thanks for the wrap. <laughs> Welcome, Nat. Um, we talked before about whether, in fact, that game against Collingwood in round one, may have, it certainly deceived a few of us. I'm not wondering whether even you blokes thought you got ahead of yourselves a fraction. Oh, look, I don't think so. We played very well that night and we've had some good performances um, throughout the year so far, but we've had some performances a little bit below standard. Um, we're, we're tweaking a little bit of our game plan and a few structural things um, are hard changing, but overall we're reasonably happy with where we are. Nat, it's Jason Dussel here. Great to talk to you tonight. What do you see as the main differences between the Dockers in 2013 and what we've seen from the Dockers so far in 2014? Yeah, Jason, I think you mentioned that manic pressure um, that Ballantyne, Walters, Maine were renowned for last year. That's sort of dropped off a little bit. Um, I think publicly we've said we're trying to get two extra goals in attack and, and, and potentially um, that's because of that a little bit. But um, a little bit of that manic, manic pressure and really turning the ball over um, so other, other sides are really scoring a little bit more against us. Walters is going to be a huge loss. Do you expect to see him again this year? Look, we're really hopeful um, that he'll help us in, in the back end of the year, around 19, I think he's listed as. But um, until then, we need players to step up. And we've got Crozier, who's coming through um, and has played a role for us. But we need young guys to come through and fill that spot. Now, you're going to celebrate your skipper's 300th game. It's an enormous uh, target to reach in any era, in particular in the professional era, uh, travelling from one side of the ground, of the country to the other. He's been a stellar player for you. Tell us a bit about him as the captain. Yeah, no, Pav's a great leader and a, and a great footy player. And I think that's what everyone in the media and the public sees. Um, his accolades list stacks up with the best in the game at the moment. And um, I guess I'm fortunate enough to see week to week what he's like. And, and he really sets a standard with his professionalism um, and his approach to his footy um, day by day. So we're really lucky to have him as a leader. And 300 games, um, I'm closing in on 70. And hmm. 300 seems a mile off <laughs> from where I am. So it's a huge achievement. Now, that's about roughly 150 trips across, across the country over his career. <laughs> You've had a fair experience, say 30, 35 trips. How taxing is it to travel that trip every second week? Yeah, his frequent fire miles will be stacking up a bit. But um, <laughs> it is, we're pros now, so we know when we go to the plane and go to travel that we have a routine that we have to stick to. And um, it's just part of our, our playing now. We know we're going to travel 10 to 12 times a year. So everyone has a routine to stick to. and. Uh, we know our recovery has to be first class um, to get ourselves up after a travel week. Now, how do you rate your own kicking? I mean, we all think you're a star, but some critics, a.k.a. Jared Healy, have suggested perhaps <laughs> kicking isn't quite at the standard that all your other skills are at. Yeah, it's certainly the area that I've been putting a lot of work into. Um, uh, being the contested player I am, I do tend to quick kick it a lot. Uh, particularly out of stoppages, but um, it's been a strong focus of mine this year and um, it is something that I check each week where my efficiency is at and um, it's something that I need to continue to work on and improve and, and, um, and goal kicking goes with that as well. I don't want to remind you about grand final day, but I'm going to. First oh. couple of kicks, is do you, in your own view, is that technique or was that the nerves and the occasion? <clears throat> Um, it could be a little bit of everything. There was, um, yeah, the, the conditions were a little bit different. My, my routine run up, I thought was pretty similar, but I just executed the skill really poorly. And um, I've watched the tape a number of times and, and reviewed it. And um, so far this year, my goal kicking has been reasonable, and um, it's something I've got to continue to work on. But um, perhaps the occasion did get to me. It's an enormous challenge to get back to another crack at a grand final. It means you've got to do it all again and to improve on last season when there was so much excitement and electricity you've got to get to that last week in September which means beating sides like Geelong on the weekend another great challenge. Yeah it is we know what um, what a high class side Geelong is and coming off the bye they'll be nice and fresh so um, we always play some really close games against them our game last year at Skilled Stadium was a ripper and um, we know we're gonna have to bring our best to match against them um, they're one of the best sides in the comp and their, their midfield in particular um, is really impressive. So a challenge that we're really looking forward to and, and on Pab's big day, we, hopefully we can honour it with some great effort. Great stuff, Nat. We are really thrilled that uh, we could get the hook-up organised. Uh, you are a star on the ground Absolutely. and we're looking forward to uh, following your career.
Let's hope you can celebrate it with Pav uh, and have a uh, very big outing for the Doggers. Yeah, let's hope so. Thanks very much, guys.